I don't know about you guys, but I feel like an idiot right now. So a little bit ago, I was in Florida and I was kind of messing around with Resolve a little bit. And I always knew about the sound library, but I didn't really know how to use it. And I wasn't using it for a while. I would just import my sound effects and my sounds all into the media pool. But as it turns out, there's a lot more you can do with the sound library. But first, I need to talk about databases. So your database is basically your entire library of projects, and you can create multiple databases with all sorts of different projects inside them, basically bins that you can put your projects into. And I have this one database with all sorts of different projects, and I haven't been using the sound library. And then when I figured it out, then I got into to power bins and I kind of just continue to mess around with stuff like that. Let me show you what I mean. So if you open up a project in DaVinci Resolve, I have this little speed ramping project I was messing around with with these cars. So what we can do is we can go up to this tab, sound library, and the one thing that threw me off is you can't see anything inside the sound library, but you can add sounds to it. So if we go up to these three little dots, click that, and then press add library. Then you have to first make a file with all of your sound effects and your music and whatever you want to put in here. So I already have one in here. We can press open and it'll ask if you want to import these and you just press yes. I've already imported some of these so that's why it's giving me this rescan pop up. Normally that wouldn't happen if you haven't used sound library before. So we can just click yes and press OK. And as you can see, nothing seems to be happening. But if we go up to the search bar and type whoosh, you can see all these different whoosh sound effects that were in that pack and I was like, okay, so now if I go into a different project and then I go to the sound library and I press whoosh again, it'll give me all these different whoosh sound effects and I don't need to keep on coming back and importing these and it's just such a quick and easy way to store all of these sound effects or your even your music on DaVinci Resolve. So that's basically it. And it's super simple and it's super easy. And I hope that this video was very helpful for you. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And if you are looking for another DaVinci Resolve tutorial, here is another video that I made, a basic crash course of the inspector tab inside DaVinci. I know a lot of creators can get tripped up by this, so click that video. Peace.